Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park here on the Tomcats. So in our last episode we managed to get this kind of weird set the navigator's head and we also managed to get the ghost into the um, penthouse. So Dolores' father. We haven't been able to actually do much when we get into the penthouse. It's an elevator. What we're going to try and do this is because we think if we can get into the penthouse that will eventually lead us to get into the tomb where we can then read the will and hopefully then get onto the next bit. So let's see what we can do in this episode. It's an elevator. Company, thank far, goodness then. you're back. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. New guests show up and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. <laughs> I love when one of the guests is watching hospital hijinks. That show is so funny. So there's that TV that's on. Bye and good luck, Clara. Floor 10. Looking for hospital hijinks, is it? What is that on the TV? Oh, nothing interesting. Back to duty. Stop it again. It's now showing the rich and the soapy. It's now showing hospital hijinks. What is that on the TV? Oh my, it's my favorite. Hospital hijinks. Elevator duty can wait. Well, at least for a little now. It's an elevator. So, we've managed to get rid of this, so I'm assuming that means um, Dolores could go up to the penthouse. So let's try that. Use the map. Back to the hotel. This is all seem to be coming together. Ding, 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 ding. I love how that light came on when it was up there. I always do that. Ding, 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 bong. Oh, bro. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. Oh, wow, she can do the secret entrance. Where's the light switch? There. Whoa. It looks like a book can be placed here. What else? What does it say? So let's look at the book. So place Book of the Dead on approved and officially licensed altar. Done. He's on an unapproved altar may result in a reduced effect and or severe injury. Placing a living object found in proximity to the grave you wish to visit. The living object is sentient. Please ensure that it is properly restrained. It's like the words found in the appendix A. If appendix A is missing, makes up to up, doesn't really matter. So I need to get, I'm assuming, a flower from Chuck's grave. So let's use the map. Let's go to the cemetery. Hopefully, it'll take me all the way to Chuck's grave. I don't have to. Does that work? Nope. Pick up flowers. There we go. Back to the hotel. This is working well. This is going to be a good episode. 
We're getting stuff done at least. So how was the lift still up there and she managed to get to the grave and the lift didn't move? She must have come down some like secret stairs. Ding, 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 ding. Is her dad still up here? Oh, and if he can go into the secret entrance. Yeah, so he can go in here. She can go in here. So where have she got to put the flower? I think it needs to be glowing to be able to work. It needs something from the dead. The book is glowing. So let's use it. I don't know what words to say to cast the spell. Maybe only certain people can read the spell itself? So is this the ghost that could... Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbonius Jumbonius. Let me visit my dead relatives. Yeah, we got out. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. It's a heavy wrought iron. You don't need that, so we can you can it's zap a big the switch. electrical knife switch straight out of Frankenstein. Where's my sarcophagus? Why does Brother Chuck get one and I don't? Maybe it's because no one found my body. Oh no! But we're out. Let's use the mat. Wonder if everybody else will be there ready. Right, so how am I going to get everybody here to read the will? It doesn't work with that. Have I got to go back to... To the... Right, so let's go talk to the family. Hopefully then we're all ready. Yes, Dolores, do you have a question about your uncle's stipulations? Here's a freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. We have a fresh thimbleberry pie and the tomb is opened. You still need to decode his will and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Here's the decrypted will. Let me see. Dolores, this is all hex gobbledygook. You haven't fully decoded it yet. Fine. Maybe I've got to do it in my room still. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Let's see. I decoded it from binary and got a bunch of hex numbers. Knowing Uncle Chuck, he would have encrypted the will using the unbreakable exclusive ore and using his lucky number as the key. Yep, that's okay. I've got. Here goes. I think it was odd, was it? Even? <coughs> Did it end with seven? Intended it began with an odd number, which was one. The rest of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. I did it. Yeah, we decrypted it. 
let's go downstairs. Just down my... Talk to the lawyer. And then hopefully... We've decrypted the will. Yes, Dolores, do you have a question about your uncle's stipulations? Here's the decrypted will. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. All three of Chuck's stipulations are now fulfilled. I'll meet you all in the tomb. Part five, the reading. Now all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Oh, yes. drum roll. Drum roll. Yes. If it's Madam, me. Quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? what? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Oh, my. Ooh, <laughs> Doug Lake's farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillotronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Wow. Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. Part six, the factory. I did part five really easy then, didn't I? It was super quick. Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Right then, so we're going to leave that episode of Thimbleweed Park here for today. So join us next time when we try to eventually get into the factory. So drop us a like and a subscribe and we'll see you next time here on the Tomcats. See you later.